Hey, what's going on guys? Maverick here. Today we're back with another video on the channel. And today we're going to be doing some tutorials. Specifically for a mod called Computer Craft. And in this episode, I think this might be a bit of a series, we're going to be looking at the basics of Computer Craft and the different computers and also writing a basic program and then in later episodes we'll look at the turtles and the floppy disks and the speakers and the wireless modems and the monitors just if if I do get if it does get a bit laggy please bear with me cuz this is 1.16 and the new forge for 1.16 is pretty laggy but yeah, let's get into the video. So we're just gonna go and go ahead and do edit. Just click tab there for this to get the suggestions up. Like you can, if it comes up with the suggestion, then we're gonna go test because that's the name of the program we want to create, and then edit. Now we're just gonna do a basic print. Now this is in. Lua, so if you're going to do more complicated stuff with computer craft you probably want to go take a course on basic Lua but I'll leave that to you we're going to go hello space world and we're going to have it in the quotation marks so that the computer knows it's a string then I'm going to press control enter control right arrow exit to so that saves the next exit. Then we're going to run test. And there's hello world. Now we're going to edit test. And we're going to do something a little bit more complicated. We're going to go local test. Just that we're going to make a variable. We're going to go test equals zero then we're going to go if test is equal to one then print test is one then we're going to go in then we're going to go if test is equal to zero then print test is zero and then we're just gonna exit that and run test and as you can see it says test is equal to zero now if we edit test and we set oh, we set t test to 1 and then we save exit and run the program it says test is equal to 1 and now what we can do is I'll probably show this in the next episode but we're going to do some basic programming for controlling a turtle and I'll just have a look at that now so we'll just go Okay, we'll look at turtles in the next episode, but in this episode, we'll look at this, and then I think we'll make a basic program for seeing if it's, if, for typing the password, so we're going to go edit startup, which is the program that runs whenever you start the computer, then we're going to go local we're going to go local um no not read text equals read then we're going to go if text equals and we'll put the password here, we'll do password 
one, two, three. Then we will print correct. Oh wait, I need quotation marks. And we'll go end and then we'll go else. No. Else print. So if it's if it's not this here, then we'll do this else print and go right. And then we'll do end and then we'll save and exit and we will restart the computer. Oh, edit. Start up. I did this wrong. It's meant to be a second space and also a there. No, not test. Start up and then it will read if we type test one, two, three. Does incorrect. But then if we restart the computer by holding control R, there's also a good one there, holding control and T to terminate. If I run start up, it's run, and then if I go password123, it accepts it. Now, what we're going to do, just to finish up the episode, we're going to put a door here, and then we're going to add a little bit of the structure around it, and then we're going to edit, te no, not test, edit, start up then we're gonna go if it is the correct panel print correct and then we'll do redstone dot set output we want it is the right then we want to set it we want to set the signal to true or on no that's not how you spell true so that will set out this out this side of that it will set it the redstone to on so that will do it then we're going to sleep for three seconds so that the door is open for three seconds we'll do redstone dot set output on the right We'll set it to false to turn it off. Then we will go back to here and then we'll OS dot reboot because they will restart the computer and then because we've called it the startup folder then it will just do it again for the next time you use it then we'll go sleep one and then we'll do os dot reboot save control exit we'll restart the computer then we'll go test one two three goes incorrect and after three seconds restarts the computer so we can type it again and we go password one two three goes correct opens it for three seconds closes and restarts the computer so we can type the password again next time but that's probably going to be it for the video next week we will look at functions and how to set up functions you can do that in Lua already but we'll just set up a basic function and then we'll also look at how to use floppy disks and what you can do with them like making it a key card but yeah that's going to be it for today guys I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time